opportunity to buy them, you're saying you want us to try and get it earlier than that. Yeah, I think we need to. That's yeah. right. Yeah. So that's what it says. Right. So that is now part of the system. Well, you can mm -hmm. if you want. Is it? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> right. Thank you for your presentation. Wonderful. Good, good to see you, young fella. <laughs> and good luck. <laughs> okay. So now we've got that in there in item two. Yes. So... I thank you very much for your presentations. I'll now ask for a mover and seconder, Councillor Cotter and Councillor Yani. Yeah, Hanson. Okay, so I'll put that motion. All those in favour? All right. Against? Thank you. Carried. Thank you, Sam. Right. We'll now move on to item thirteen, which is just housekeeping. I am more than happy to move this, and Councillor Scander is more than happy to second it. It's, it's plain as the nose on your face, so I don't think we need any questions. All those in favour? All right. Against? Thank you. Carried? Great. And now we're up to item number 14. Sorry to keep you waiting. <laughs> um, Metropolitan Discretionary Response Fund. Kia ora. I'm Marie Byrne, uh, Community Development Advisor. Um, in the Horse Will Hornby Rickerton Community Board area, um, and I provided the recommendation for this funding application. We'll just take it as read. Is there any questions for us? Uh, Councillor Coker is more than happy to move it, and Councillor um, McClelland has got a question. Yeah. Yep. And and is probably also happy to second it. Yeah. 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 And your question, please, sir. Hey, just keen to get a better understanding of that dividing line between um, uh, when when we fund religious organisations. How do you walk that tightrope? Where, where are the, Where's the clear delineation when making these recommendations? With this application, the fact that they used the van to take um, people back to their church um, was a pretty clear um, indication uh, uh, for me that that's involves some form of religious ministry and they hand out pamphlets for their churches. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right, good. Councillor Barber, do you have a question? Um, yeah, my question is um, just around, is there any way that we can work with this organisation to support them in, in other ways that um, I know they've come looking for money for various things, but uh, by connecting them with perhaps city mission, etc. It... That has been attempted. Um, had quite a discussion with them about linking in with other organisations and perhaps joining with other organisations to provide, uh, for example, um, uh, Kairos to provide the food and the meals. They um, weren't terribly interested in working with other organisations to do it. They wanted to do it themselves. Um, so when you've got an organisation wanting to work in a silo by themselves um, and not with, not particularly with other providers um, that are working and collaborating together, um, yeah, if, we can, tr if, if I can, we can try and convince them to do so, we'll, I'll keep trying with them. Okay, thank you very much. That's good. So no more questions. I'll put this motion. All those in favour? I want to debate. Oh, yeah, of course you do. Uh, Councillor Barr would like to do the debate. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Um, yeah, I'm always a wee bit uncomfortable with these sorts of things. Uh, look, I know we have our criteria um, in terms of uh, who and how we give money, um, but I think there are lots of organisations like this throughout our city uh, trying to do good. And I understand that this is a religious organisation, and uh, and that upsets some people. And you know, I understand that, um, but. There are lots of organisations within our community, within our city, religious ones, that do amazing work, uh, that are looking to lift people up and uh, to change lives. And, you know, I've looked at their website. Uh, they're a very, very uh, multicultural uh, group. Um, and it seems to me that it's a real shame that we can't support them in some way. I absolutely applaud uh, the work. Um, I know what it's based on, having grown up in a, a, a similar sort of churchy environment. Um, they talk about faith without works is dead. So basically, you know, the, the gospel of Jesus Christ, which is what they follow, is that you can't 
talk the talk, you've got to walk it as well. And these people are trying to walk it. Obviously, they're coming for public funds, and I'm sure they'll do it anyway. Um, I remember, um, I mean, I'm just reading here, staff are not rec uh, recommending that we decline. Uh, it's not appropriate to fund the cost of meals. At this stage, meals are not prepared in an appropriately licensed venue. Well, I remember going to San Francisco a few years ago and watching a family handing out food that they'd obviously prepared at home uh, to the homeless people. Uh, there's a real problem, uh, homeless problem in a place like San Francisco. Um, you know, we should be applauding the initiative that, that people um, take to actually go and care about their fellow human beings. And again, I totally understand why we wouldn't fund this, but um, I think that we should um, we should actually, at the very least, be encouraging these um, organisations to continue to do uh, good work. So I hope that we can continue to support them in some way. I'm not quite sure how that uh, would work. Um, and look, if they're siloed and they want to do it their way, uh, there are other groups that are like that too, um, and they probably fund themselves. Uh, you know, I'll put that out there. There's a group that uh, are out on Sundays in, uh, I think it's Latham Square, who are feeding the homeless, doing a, a soup kitchen uh, sort of thing. Um, I think that's amazing, and I've gone down and supported them a couple of times. Uh, we should always be, you know, very conscious that there are people in our city that, that need help and uh, if there's a particular group that wants to do that, I think at the very least we should applaud the work that they're doing. Thanks. Very good. Thank you. Councillor Templeton. Thank you. Um, there's no doubt, as Councillor Barber says, that there are many groups, um, faith-based groups around the city doing a whole pile of work. And I just want to assure my colleague that actually we do support a lot of them with funding for a lot of the work they do that aligns to the outcomes we're looking for in the city. Um, we provide a lot of support to those um, doing youth work and budgeting services and things that from a range of different faith-based organisations. Um, it's just that this particular application doesn't meet the criteria. So um, we do do that, and these groups do an amazing um, amount of mahi around the city. So, yeah, and um, our support for them is, is needed so that they can do that work. Thanks. Good. Uh, Councillor Scandrick. Uh, um, Councillor Templeton said what I was going to say. Okay, good. Councillor Okay. There are other issues um, with lightable nations. They um, have had noise complaints actually continuously for well over a year um, with residents living next door to them um, in my area. So um, the, in my experience, they're not always thinking about others. Okie dokie. So thank you for the contribution to the debate, everybody. Uh, so I'll put that motion. All those in favour? Aye. Aye. Against? No. No. Okay, so we'll note those. Thank you very much. Have you got them, Sam? Yeah. Okay, good as gold. So that is carried. Thank you very much. So now we're going to...